Short and simplistic, Torn is a science fiction mystery set in a dilapidated and enigmatic mansion teeming with artifacts of Era's past. Published and developed by Aspire Media, whose portfolio mostly consists of ports, Torn is a narrative-driven adventure game paced with light puzzle mechanics. Thematically and in presentation, Torn is noticeably inspired by the dark, psychological chilling science fiction of works like Bioshock. The dev team even includes a few members of the Bioshock team. And like Bioshock, it outright explains very little to you, at least from the start. Its Steam page actually explains more about what's going on than its beginning hour or so does. And that beginning happens abruptly, though appropriately. The main character, Catherine Patterson, happens upon our abandoned mansion during a seemingly aimless stroll through the woods. A vaguely self-described blogger, Patterson sees the mansion as an opportunity for a story of a lifetime. While exploring, Patterson meets Dr. Lawrence Talbot, a scientist whose experiments have torn his mind in two. His memory is represented by blue light Lights, trapped throughout his mansion, and his physical form and consciousness represented by a gold blob stored in another universe he calls the Parallel. As Patterson, it's up to you to restore Talbot's memory and rescue him from the Parallel. Touted as a title built from the ground up for VR, Torn's weaknesses appear rapidly. Core mechanics are basic and repetitive. Production quality is a little inconsistent. Voice acting ranges anywhere between great and unintentionally campy. The plot is interesting and includes some really nice, if a little verbose, writing. The story as a whole, however, lacks a meaningful punch and hinges on a somewhat predictable plot twist. A twist that ultimately closes the book on a premise that begs questions Torn never seriously addresses. The entire game takes place in the mansion, which is mostly explorable. I say mostly because there are a few doors that don't open, but for the most part, if you see a door, you can go through it. It won't take you very long to see the mansion in its entirety. From the beginning, every door is unlockable, and if you decide to explore, you'll finish rather quickly. Most of the mansion's rooms have a set of puzzles and a device Torn calls a room barometer. Solving all the puzzles in a room allows you to transport between your universe and the parallel, where story sequences play out like lightly interactable cutscenes. This is where the bulk of the story takes place. The basis for most of Torn's problems are its puzzles. They lack ingenuity, subtlety, and feel empty and bare. Pretty much the full breadth of Torn's puzzle mechanics are revealed within the first couple minutes of gameplay, and they don't get much more complicated or difficult the further you go. In order for room barometer to activate, thus allowing you to progress through the story, you have to complete power circuits. To do this, you use a gravity tool to find and pick up objects that have a symbol matching other symbols in and around the room. You place and rotate the object on its matching symbol, and the circuit connects. Sometimes you'll have to place objects on pressure plates to continue the circuit. That's pretty much all there is to it. With the exception of one or two puzzles, nearly every puzzle works the exact same way. Very little changes. You find the circuit with your gravity tool, find the object you need to complete the circuit and activate the room barometer. It requires very little imagination to solve these puzzles. The gravity tool can pick up and reveal objects from afar, so it's just a matter of seeing the thing you need. There's no structure, no coherence to any of it. You'll ransack rooms without a care in the world, tossing objects around and waiting until you come across the symbol you need. It's mindless and, quite frankly, really boring. Being a narrative-driven puzzle light story is one thing, but forcing players to continually solve the same problem in different rooms is uncreative, and feels more like artificial padding to lengthen the game than anything else. Torn evolves into a quasi-VR point-and-click adventure without the mechanical depth to warrant VR, nor the narrative flow of a point-and-click. There's very little in the way of added context and intrigue to the mansion. A few sparse audio recordings are strewn throughout, though Torn doesn't give you a way to listen back to them without going and finding them again. Talbot's memories speak up from time to time, sharing brief anecdotes about a room or helping you find an object. Otherwise, the mansion doesn't provide much to break the boredom of its repetitive puzzles. After completing the main puzzles, there's sort of a secondary challenge to find memories left in the room, the room barometer showing you how many are left. Collecting these memories, however, can be a little infuriating. As far as I can tell, these leftover memories spawn randomly in random objects. If you see a book or chair wiggling and bouncing, it means there's a memory in it. Click the object and the memory floats back to the room barometer. They don't all spawn at once, though. If your room barometer says there are 20 leftover memories, there may only be two or three actually active. And once you find those two or three, you'll just have to wait until the next few spawn. And they can take four 
forever to spawn and seemingly without reason. I spent hours in rooms doing nothing waiting to hear an object moving on its own. There's no indication of when one will spawn. No pattern. Collecting all the memories doesn't seem to change anything about the game either, so I'm not even sure why the mechanic exists. The mansion quickly becomes familiar and uninteresting. You'll come across dozens of recycled assets. You'll pass by a box or clock you've already seen four or five times, halting a sense of discovery and distinctness from several rooms. I continually caught myself spotting something I'd seen before. Sometimes the same exact assets were even sitting right next to one another. If there was anything that helped alleviate the monotony of Torn's puzzles, it was an excellent soundtrack. A beautiful orchestral suite accompanies you while you solve puzzles. It's cinematic and tranquil. Most rooms have a song that plays when you enter it, a theme, and while these themes regrettably don't loop sometimes, it really was nice listening to them throughout the mansion. It's tough to get deeper into Torn's story without spoiling the twist, which I won't do in this video, but it's important to know that the twist also sidesteps the plot. Without giving away the ending, Talbot's experiments deal with the mind. More specifically, diving into someone's subconscious and learning how it works, as well as what's there. Talbot explains that this could help with solving crimes or assisting those with mental disabilities. It's a really cool premise Torn fails to fully explore. Talbot certainly talks a lot, and there's some really fun science fiction techno babble, but the philosophical, ethical, and moral implications of his technology are never thoroughly examined. The plot twist only accentuates this, as Torn's ending dumps loads of exposition and revelation onto you and asks more questions than it answers. It's a cheap and predictable twist that doesn't expand on any of the themes Torn presents. I'm going to give Torn our E grade. At a retail price of $29.99 and a completion time around 5 hours, I find it really hard to recommend. Torn doesn't provide enough mechanical depth or versatility to hold up its interesting premise. Those of you with headsets looking for a good VR puzzler should skip Torn, and if you just got a headset, there are much better experiences out there for the same price. 